SimCity, later renamed SimCity Classic, is a city-building simulation video game designed by Will Wright, published by Maxis, and released on the 2nd of February 1989. It is the first game in the SimCity series. The game focuses on players operating as a mayor whose task is to build up a city, providing basic transit links, power, and simplistic service needs for their residents, while watching out for problems and dealing with a multitude of disasters, most of which are based on real-life disasters. Alongside the option to make a city from scratch, the game also features scenarios that task players to oversee a pre-built city and deal with specific issues that it faces, most of which require the player to rebuild after a disaster. Released initially for the Commodore Amiga and Macintosh computer, the game was ported onto various gaming platforms. SimCity received critical acclaim upon release, becoming a commercial success and establishing the title as one of the all-time greats in city-building simulation games, spawning several sequels as a result, SimCity 2000 in 1993, SimCity 3000 in 1999, SimCity 4 in 2003, SimCity DS, SimCity Societies in 2007, and SimCity in 2013. The game became the best-selling Maxis title on PC, until the eventual release of the series spin-off The Sims in 2000. <laughs> Gameplay The objective of SimCity is to build and design a city, without specific goals to achieve. The player can mark land as being zoned as commercial, industrial, or residential, add buildings, change the tax rate, build a power grid, build transportation systems and take many other actions, in order to enhance the city. Once able to construct buildings in a particular area, the too small to see residents, known as Sims, may choose to construct and upgrade houses, apartment blocks, light or heavy industrial buildings, commercial buildings, hospitals, churches, and other structures. The Sims make these choices based on such factors as traffic levels, adequate electrical power, crime levels, and proximity to other types of buildings. For example, residential areas next to a power plant will seldom appreciate to the highest grade of housing. In the Super NES version and later, the player can also build rewards when they are given to them, such as a mayor's mansion or a casino. The player may face disasters including flooding, tornadoes, fires often from air disasters or shipwrecks, earthquakes and attacks by monsters. In addition, monsters and tornadoes can trigger train crashes by running into passing trains. Scenarios SimCity includes goal-centered, time scenarios that could be won or lost depending on the performance of the player. The scenarios were an addition suggested by Broderbund in order to make SimCity more like a game. The original cities were based on real-world cities and attempted to recreate their general layout. While most scenarios either take place in a fictional timeline or have a city under siege by a fictional disaster, a handful of available scenarios are based on actual historical events. <laughs> <laughs> development SimCity was developed by game designer Will Wright. While working on the game Raid on Bungling Bay, in which the player flies a helicopter dropping bombs on islands, Wright found he enjoyed designing the islands in the level editor more than playing the actual game. This led him to develop increasingly sophisticated level editors. At the same time, Wright was cultivating a love of the intricacies and theories of urban planning and acknowledges the influence of system dynamics which was developed by J. Wright Forrester and whose book on the subject laid the foundations for what would become SimCity. In addition, Wright also was inspired by reading, The Seventh Sally. A short story from the Cyberiad by Stanislaw Lem, in which an engineer encounters a deposed tyrant, and creates a miniature city with artificial citizens for the tyrant to oppress. The game reflected Wright's approval of mass transit and disapproval of nuclear power. Maxis president Jeff Brown stated, We're pushing political agendas. The first version of the game was developed for the Commodore 64 in 1985, it was not published for another four years. 
The original working title of SimCity was Micropolis. The game was unusual in that it could neither be won nor lost. As a result, game publishers did not believe it was possible to market and sell such a game successfully. Broderbund declined to publish the title when Wright proposed it, and he pitched it to a range of major game publishers without success. Finally, Brown, founder of the tiny software company Maxis, agreed to publish SimCity as one of two initial games for the company. Wright and Brown returned to Broderbund to formally clear the rights to the game in 1988, when SimCity was near completion. After Broderbund executives Gary Carlston and Don Daglo saw SimCity, they signed Maxis to a distribution deal for both of its initial games. With that, four years after initial development, SimCity was released for the Amiga and Macintosh platforms, followed by the IBM PC and Commodore 64 later in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Ports and versions After the original release on the Amiga and Macintosh, then the Commodore 64 and IBM PC, it was ported to several other computer platforms and video game consoles, specifically the Atari Street, Acorn Archimedes, Amstrad CPC, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, BBC Micro, Acorn Electron, Super Nintendo Entertainment System which was later released on Virtual Console, EPOC32, Mobile Phone, Internet, Windows, FM Towns, OLPC. X01 and News Hyperlook on Sun Unix. The game is available as a multiplayer version for X11 TCL, TK on various Unix, Linux, DeskView and OS, 2 operating systems. Certain versions have been re-released with various add-ons, including extra scenarios. An additional extra add-on for the Windows version of SimCity Classic was a level editor. This editor could be opened without use of the disk. The level editor is a simple tool that allows the user to create grasslands, dirt land, and water portions. A version was developed in 1991 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, but never released. A prototype version was found in 2017. On December 25, 2018, a ROM image of the unreleased NES version was released online by Frank Sifaldi of the Video Game History Foundation. The IBM version of SimCity is notable for the unusually large amount of graphics modes it supports. The game runs in CGA 640 by 200 mode, EGA 640 by 200 mode for users with 200 line monitors, Tandy 640 by 200 mode, Hercules EGA 600 140 by 350 mode for users with 350 line monitors and VGA 640 by 480 monochrome. A later release dropped all of the 200 line modes and added 640 by 480 color mode. Unlike most commercial PC games at the time, 320 by 200 resolutions were not used because they were inadequate for the amount of graphics detail the game needed. A port of SimCity was released for Windows 3.0 in 1992. It runs in the Windows GDI and does not support 256 color graphics or sound. Topic: <laughs> Super NES. SimCity for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System SNES features the same gameplay and scenario features, however, since it was developed and published by Nintendo, the company incorporated their own ideas. Instead of the Godzilla monster disaster, Bowser of the Super Mario series becomes the attacking monster, and once the city reaches a landmark 500,000 populace, the player receives a Mario statue that is placeable in the city. The Super NES port also features special buildings the player may receive as rewards, such as casinos, large parks, amusement parks, and expo centers, some of which would be incorporated into SimCity 2000. A bank can be built which will allow a loan of $10,000 to be taken, but it must be paid back before another loan can be taken out. The game includes schools and hospitals, though they cannot be placed by the player, instead, the game will sometimes turn an empty residential lot into one. There are city classifications, such as becoming a metropolis at 100,000 people. It has some of the same preset scenarios in the PC and Mac versions and two new ones. 
One is in Las Vegas under attack by aliens and another called Freeland. Freeland has no water and no rewards buildings are given. Also unique to the Super NES version is a character named Dr. Wright, whose physical appearance is based on Will Wright who acts as an advisor to the player. The soundtrack was composed by Soyo Oka. The edition is featured as Nintendo's player's choice as a million seller. In August 1996 a version of the game entitled BS Sim City Meichizukuri Taikai was broadcast to Japanese players via the Super Famicom Satellaview subsystem. Later, a sequel titled SimCity 64 was released for Nintendo 64DD, the Japan-only Nintendo 64 add-on. Cancelled NES version A version for the Nintendo Entertainment System NES was announced alongside the SNES version, and had been showcased at the 1991 Consumer Electronics Show, but the NES version was never properly released. However, prototype cartridges for the NES version were discovered in 2017, and one copy was obtained by video game preservationist Frank Sifaldi, who extensively documented its features compared to the original personal computer game and the SNES version. Topic. Micropolis In January 2008, the SimCity source code was released under the free software GPL3 license, renamed to Micropolis the original working title for trademark reasons, and developed by Don Hopkins. The release of the source code was motivated by the One Laptop Per Child program. The Micropolis source code has been translated to C++, integrated with Python and interfaced with both GTK Plus and OpenLaslo. In 2008, Maxis established an online browser-based version of SimCity. A second browser-based version was later released under the name Micropolis. In 2013, a browser-based version was released, ported using JavaScript and HTML5, as MicropolisEJs. Since Micropolis is licensed under the GPL, users can do anything they want with it that conforms with the GPL, the only restriction is that they cannot call it SimCity, along with a few other limitations to protect EA's trademarks. This allows other, differently named projects to be forked from the Micropolis source code. Improvements to the open source code base that merits EA's approval may be incorporated into the official OLPC SimCity source code, to be distributed with the OLPC under the trademark name OLPC SimCity, but only after it has been reviewed and approved by EA. Topic. Comparison of different versions SimCity Classic is available for Palm OS and on the SimCity.com website as Classic Live. It was also released by Atelier Software for the Scion 5 handheld computer, and mobile phones in 2006. The July 2005 issue of Nintendo Power stated that a development cartridge of SimCity for the NES was found at Nintendo headquarters. Never released, it is reportedly the only one in existence. Additionally a terrain editor and architecture discs were available with tileset graphics for settings of ancient Asia, medieval, wild west, future Europe, future USA and a moon colony. Versions of SimCity for the BBC Micro, Acorn Electron, and Acorn Archimedes computers were published by Superior Software, Acornsoft. Programmer Peter Scott had to squeeze the 512K Amiga version of the game into 20K in order to run on the aging 32K BBC Micro and Acorn Electron. Despite this, it kept almost all of the functionality of the Amiga game and very similar graphics although only using four colors. Dux Software published a Unix version of SimCity for the news window system using the Hyperlook user interface environment, and a multiplayer version of SimCity for the X11 window system using the TCL, TK user interface toolkit, both developed and ported to various platforms by Don Hopkins. Reception 
SimCity was a financial success, selling one million copies by late 1992. In the United States, it was the ninth best-selling computer game from 1993 to 1999, with another 830,000 units sold. It was critically acclaimed and received significant recognition within a year after its initial release. As of December 1990 the game was reported to have won the following awards. In addition, SimCity won the Origins Award for Best Military or Strategy Computer Game of 1989 in 1990, was named to Computer Gaming World's Hall of Fame for games readers highly rated over time, and the multiplayer X11 version of the game was also nominated in 1992 as the best product of the year in Unix World. SimCity was named number 4, 10 Greatest PC Game Ever, by PC World in 2009. It was named one of the 16 most influential games in history at Telespila, a German technology and games trade show, in 2007. Sid Meier in 2008 named SimCity as one of the three most important innovations in video game history, as it led to other games that encourage players to create, not destroy. It was named number 11 on IGN's 2009 Top 25 PC Games of All Time list. In 1996, Computer Gaming World declared SimCity the sixth best computer game ever released. Entertainment Weekly gave the game an B+. In 1991, PC Format named SimCity one of the 50 best computer games ever. The editors called it a town planner's dream. The University of Southern California and University of Arizona used SimCity in urban planning and political science classes. In 1990 the Providence Journal invited five candidates for mayor of Providence, Rhode Island to manage a SimCity town resembling the city. Former Mayor Buddy Sianke, who was the most successful, won election that year. Chuck Moss of the Detroit News found that Godzilla attacking the city in the 1972 Detroit scenario caused less destruction than the mayoralty of Coleman Young. The SimCity Terrain editor was reviewed in 1989 in Dragon No. 147 by Hartley, Patricia, and Kirk Lesser in The Role of Computers column. The reviewers gave the expansion 4 out of 5 stars. The ZX Spectrum version was voted number 4 in the Your Sinclair Reader's Top 100 Games of All Time. On March 12, 2007, The New York Times reported that SimCity was named to a list of the 10 most important video games of all time, the so called Game Canon. The Library of Congress took up a video game preservation proposal and began with the games from this list, including SimCity. Topic. Legacy SimCity yielded several sequels. Sim games of many types were developed, with Will Wright and Maxis developing myriad titles including Simarth, SimFarm, SimTown, Streets of SimCity, SimCopter, Simant, SimLife, SimIsle, SimTower, SimPark, SimSafari, and The Sims, as well as the unreleased Sims villain Simmers. They also obtained licenses for some titles developed in Japan, such as SimTower and Let's Take the A-Train released as A-Train outside Japan. In 2000 The Sims was released, which spawned its own series. Spore, released in 2008, was originally going to be titled, Sim Everything, a name that Will Wright thought might accurately describe what he was trying to achieve. SimCity inspired a new genre of video games. Software toys that were open ended with no set objective were developed trying to duplicate SimCity's success. The most successful was most definitely Wright's Own The Sims, which went on to be the best selling computer game of all time. The ideas pioneered in SimCity have been incorporated into real world applications as well. For example, Visitorville simulates a city based on website statistics. The series also spawned a SimCity collectible card game, produced by Mayfair Games. Rick Swan reviewed SimCity, the card game for Dragon Magazine No. 221 September 1995. Swan says that, "...while the card game doesn't scale the heights of the computer game, it comes close." Dr. Wright from the Super NES version has made appearances in several video games. 
He is a non-player character in The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, and an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. See also Government simulation Municipal government, the basis for SimCity Urban planning Regional planning List of open source games <laughs>